Reed McDonald, president, CEO, guy who takes the blame over flight display <laughs> systems. We had some interesting uh, new announcements yesterday. Let's start there. What's new at Flight Display? Well, yesterday we talked about the passenger experience in the cabin, and that's really what we're focused on. Um, what we find is that passengers more and more want to have an experience like they do in their living room while they're on their plane. And so we announced the Dew experience on the plane, and that is on the backbone of the Dew capsule. And uh, via the Dew capsule, we're able to provide wireless entertainment in the cabin. We're able to provide DRM compliant content to the passengers via wireless connection on any device. They can walk on the plane with their phone, with their tablet, their computer, and access this media, movies, television shows, magazines, games, books, and in addition to that, we've got a brand new moving map that we call Dew 2D. And on the horizon, we're releasing Dew 3D, which is the ultimate experience in moving maps in three dimension on the plane. We've backed that up with a whole new series of monitors that we call the Edge series of monitors, which are the thinnest, lightest, fanless design, quiet monitors mm -hmm. for the plane. What resolution? Uh, we, we have everything from high def to 4K Ultra HD. Everybody's got to have Ultra these days. It's got to be 4K or nothing. That's right. Well, it's interesting right now because we're watching the overall experience in the airplane. It's no longer just good enough that you can go out and do business or get from point A to point B. You've got to be able to communicate in route. You've got to be able to entertain in route. You've got to be able to involve in route. And more important, you've got to be able to bring everything that you count on at home with you and it's got to be functional. Uh, and when you're doing this at three, four, five hundred knots, that's a hell of a trick. How do you do it? Well, um, the way we did it was we started with a blank sheet of paper. So Flight Display Systems has been around. Well, the analog method. <laughs> <laughs> the company's been around 17 years, and um, you know we uh, we have a lot of our business um, in commercial aviation and business jets, but we also have about half of our business that's focused on military and government solutions. Um, that have extremely high demands on quality and performance and reliability. And what we did was we started with a blank sheet of paper and we came out with a whole new line of products that meet some very high quality standards. And when we started with that blank sheet of paper, we started from the passenger. And we wanted to focus on the user interface and the user experience and allow that passenger to have the best experience while they're in the cabin. So the answer is we started with a blank sheet of paper and redesigned everything. So who is your typical customer these days? Well, we... Uh, if there is a <laughs> typical customer, I should have bit my tongue the minute I said that. Um, anyone who has a jet, regardless of size, mm -hmm. and we actually have a lot of uh, turboprop customers and, and smaller plane customers as well, but we provide a, an affordable solution to wireless entertainment in the cabin, to cabin control, and we do it without needing any internet connection. Um, so when you think about affordability uh, to add this solution into your plane, we've got a very uh, compelling and competitive solution that can be added to any size plane. To outfit the, I would say, mid-level cabin class BizJet these days, uh, there's a, it, it's almost as critical a concern the installation issues as it is the purchase issues and then of course operability because downtime on one of these airplanes is huge how do you make this a proper value solution across all three uh, interests well it's a, it's a quick and easy installation um, and it goes well wait a second we're talking aviation here there's nothing <laughs> quick and easy comparatively speaking there we go relatively speaking all right um, but but it is and so um, you know it's very easy to add this in and because much of the entertainment and the cabin control can be accessed wirelessly um, it eliminates the need for large labor hours heavy engineering um, and so it can be done in an affordable solution now relative to downtime it's very easy to add this solution into a regularly scheduled maintenance downtime. Um, it's not like you've got a plan on putting your plane down for weeks mm -hmm. to put the system in. So we've got some preferred partners. Uh, we've, we've partnered with Standard Aero. Mm -hmm. They're a preferred installation center on the, on the Dew capsule and the Dew experience in the cabin. Nice folks too. Great folks. They know how to do it. They've got a global presence. 
customer can go in for a regular scheduled maintenance and add this on to the, the package that they're already doing. Excellent. When a customer decides that they want this kind of functionality, what kind of questions are you dealing with? What kind of concerns are you dealing with? How do you educate a potential customer into outfitting an aircraft to not only have this kind of capability, but to make, these, make sure these people are happy for the long term? Well, each customer has a unique set of concerns and circumstances. And, and as a matter of fact, when you get into the retrofit environment, it can become complicated very quickly. But what we have here is we have the ability to very simply accomplish some things that are very important to the, to the end user. Um, when you think about trends and importance, um, I mentioned uh, the, the ability to walk on with any device and connect to this. They don't necessarily want to have to download a specific app to be able to get on it. We have an app that optimizes the experience for the user, mm -hmm. but they can access it through a browser. Excellent. But that's one thing. What happens if I take off on the plane and I forgot to download the app? Am I out of luck on the entire flight? And the answer is no. You can get about 90% of the feature and functionality through a browser and not even need to download the app. Um, so they're concerned about um, also, as you mentioned, downtime, cost of installation, um, DRM compliance. I know we've heard a lot about that over the last couple of years, but they want to be able to get uh, DRM compliant content, adhere to copyright laws, and be able to do it in an easy and efficient manner. And so one of the things that we offer through this is the ability to add on that DRM subscription. Okay. okay, we've got three levels of service. We've got the D90, the D180, and the D360 that allows the customer to get movies, television shows, uh, books, magazines, games, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to get the content. We've got two removable SSD drives in this box, and this is a one terabyte removable drive. And if they sign up for our subscription service, then each month they'll get a new drive preloaded with the content mm -hmm. that all they have to do is insert into the box and they now have the latest and greatest content available on their plane. So simple the typical passenger can do that, huh? <laughs> Very simple. Excellent. The industry has been through better days. You know, overall, you know, the thing, some aspects are down and some aspects may not be down, but aren't doing a whole lot better than that. Are we finding that these kind of solutions are providing the additional value and the additional impetus for people to use their aircraft more? I think so. The, the more comfortable the experience is and the ability to do the things that they want to on that plane and create product, pro, product, productive time is extremely important. Okay, So again, one of the features and functionalities of this is that somebody can walk on with a thumb drive and access a USB port mm -hmm. and share those files with everyone on the cabin. Okay. Um, so in addition to the entertainment aspect, you can also create business productivity while uh -huh. you're on the plane. And the more productive or the more relaxing or the more enjoyable the flight is, the more they're gonna wanna have that experience. Outstanding. What are you learning from the customer base? One thing that has been fun in almost every aspect of the avionics community is the decisions that they make in the future based on the input they're getting from uh, customers, operators, installers, and the like that are moving them forward and allowing them not only be more innovative but even more disruptive. Uh, are you getting that kind of uh, information from your customer base? Absolutely. Uh, we spend a lot of time with our customers and make sure that we understand what their needs are, what they're trying to accomplish in the product, and then to go and do those things for them. Uh, we hear a lot about the importance of quality and reliability and certifications. So our box is fully tested, fully certified, DO160 compliant. Mm -hmm. It carries a PMA certification, which makes it very easy for them to install in the plan. So as we sit and listen to what they want to try to accomplish for their customers, we then go and deliver those solutions to help them accomplish that. Okay, I'm Joe Bizjet operator or even better in some cases, maybe a, a, a commercial operator and trying to find ways to make sure that my passengers, my air taxi group, or uh, some of my clients are finding the experience to be uh, a better 
overall environment than it's been in the past. How does somebody who's looking for this kind of functionality educate themselves to make the right kind of decisions to get not only what they need, but to make sure that they're ready to grow with the future? Because let's face it, this technology, rapid pace of development. Absolutely, it's rapid. It changes quickly. Um, you know, I think uh, there are uh, some wonderful articles that are being published in, in the magazines that are trying to help the consumers understand the technology as it comes out and keep tabs on it. But um, one of the best things that they have is a trusted partner. If you think about the ability for a customer to be able to go to someone they already trust, like a standard arrow, who um, is very up to date on all the technologies in the marketplace, mm -hmm. who has evaluated all of those, and could say, we've looked at the offerings in the marketplace, and here's our recommended and preferred solution to install on your plane. Okay, we've tested it. We've got an optimized solution paired with multiple vendors and multiple products that when we put this on your plane, it provides the best experience for you in your plane. And so if they can find those trusted partners who have been able to evaluate the technologies in the marketplace, those people can help them understand what a low risk and high performing solution is that they can put on their plane. Well, it's obvious that the concept of a trusted partner is critical here because one, we're not talking chump change. This is not a, a, a small or inexpensive pursuit. And more important, we're talking about in, in one form or another still having an impact on an airframe, its systems, uh, and so forth. So you want to make sure you're dealing with the right kind of people who are knowledgeable. And I, you know, from watching this industry, there's been a lot of uh, flux, if you will, within this segment. People show up, they disappear. More people show up, they disappear. And have the folks out there have some longevity. And 17 years is nothing to sneeze at in this particular case. Um, are you finding that to be something that has been a determining factor in the folks choosing to do business with you? That, that is a very big factor. But I think more important than that, the longevity is nice. It's the approach to business. Okay. Okay. For flight display systems, FDS Avionics Corp., our number one focus is quality. Our number one focus is reliability. And we want to be that trusted partner for those folks that we can help accomplish what they need to accomplish and know that when they go down that path with us that it's going to work and that we're going to stand by it. And that's what we focus on, is delivering the highest quality solution to have the best experience for their customer, the end user. When their customer's happy, they're happy. Mm -hmm. And we're all happy together. And I think that, that's what makes a successful partnership. Okay, so the person who's looking to outfit their airplane do, is it better for them to deal with you directly or through your partners? Through our partners. Okay. Now we're happy to take calls from end users. Excellent. We're happy to explain, explain the technologies to them and we do it frequently. But we do not install avionics equipment. We have partners who do that. And we want to move those people to a trusted partner that they can rely on and have a good experience during the installation process. What do you see for your future? We've actually got, uh, you know, this, this has been a fun show for us. We introduced a phenomenal lineup of products that transforms the entire experience in the cabin. We have another wave of product development going on right now that's coming right behind it. It's a very, very exciting time. When you think about things such as um, um, a moving map, they've been around a long time, but trying to freshen that market up and bring a new look and a new feel and a best of class map to market mm -hmm. is fun. One of the things that we have coming down the line is the best 3D moving map in the market. It is going to be incredible. It is going to allow the customer to explore the globe in three dimensions. We have a feature called Glass Cabin where you'll be able to uh, pick up your phone and look through the walls of the plane mm -hmm. real time and uh -huh. 3D imagery around you day or night. Oh wow! Some really neat feature functionality uh, that is going to really take a moving map instead of just being an information on a stale looking screen um, on where you're at on your flight into an entertainment and an interactive uh, entertainment tool on the plane. 
Well, Reed McDonald, we sure appreciate the chance to talk to you here on Aero TV in the middle of AEA 2016. We wish you continued success. Most important, keep us up to date because uh, I got a real kick out of that little smile when I asked, what about the future? <laughs> I've seen this smile before, and uh, that's somebody who's got something up his sleeve and, and in a good way. So we look forward to seeing what's next, and more important, down the line, uh, we'll have to stop by, uh, visit, and see how you're able to continually innovate in, this, in an industry that's gotten more competitive by the day. We thank you much, Excellent. sir. Thank you, Jim. Aero News Network's coverage of the 59th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Orlando, Florida, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at AspenAvionics.com.